What is up, y'all? It is your girl, Anna Ariel, and I'm back with another freaking video. Nobody In today's video, I'm going to be doing a fall collective haul. I'm going to be showing y'all all the things that I got um, over the last month. I haven't officially went fall shopping yet, so you guys are going to get another fall haul probably in a couple weeks. This is the stuff that I've gotten over the last month that I'm going to be bringing into the fall season because it's officially fall, my favorite season. The girls who know are the girls who know. It's a collective haul. I have quite a bit of stuff. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's a decent size haul today. So we're going to get right into it. I don't waste none of y'all time. If y'all like more fashion content like this and want to see more hauls, more fashion videos, style videos, lifestyle, or beauty, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down below what other content y'all would like to see. And yeah, if y'all want to see me style some of these things too, let me know down below. So first, we're going to start with accessories. And accessories, I don't have a lot, so that's why I just want to start with that first. So first for accessories, I'm actually wearing some new accessories that I have. So I got these two like beaded bracelets. I already have these two chakras and I forgot which one this is. It's one of the chakra bracelets. I have my chakra bracelets already. I've had these for a while. I got these when I went to Myrtle Beach. But I added these two other bracelets. They're just a yin and yang bracelet. So it's black and white. It has a little yin and yang. I've been really obsessed with these beaded bracelets lately as opposed to like jewelry like plated bracelets like gold or silver bracelets i've been feeling the beaded bracelets but i definitely want to get some more like plated bracelets as well so i got these bracelets i got these from claire's and i believe they were 6.99 or something like that and then also from claire's I got these two like cross chain bracelets so it's a silver and a gold one i broke all my my chains basically recently but I don't know if I've been too rough or what it is, but I broke all my chain bracelets. So, I mean, I broke all my 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 bracelets. I broke all my necklaces. I feel like I keep saying bracelets. So I have to go ahead and get some more. So I just picked up these two for now. Like I need to get more bracelets. Simple. So that is that. Why do I keep saying bracelets? I'm about to make myself so mad. So now that we've gotten to jewelry, we're gonna go on to other accessories, which is bags, which I only have one new bag to show y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the bag. <sighs> All right, yeah, 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 y'all know. If you know, you know, you know what bag this is. I got a new Telfar, y'all. Telfar is my favorite handbag company right now at the moment. I'm obsessed with them. I just ordered another one for Rainbow Pop-Up Shop. I just ordered another one. Yeah, but it is the chocolate Telfar, y'all. So let me show y'all. This is the perfect fall bag. I got a new brown chocolate Telfar. I'm not gonna get too much into the bag because I do wanna do like a whole unboxing like I did with my white Telfar for y'all and give y'all more details. But that they get the brown Telfar bag in the size medium. So this is the medium size Telfar bag. Obsessed with it. I'm so happy and excited to be wearing it for the fall. I've already started wearing it. The first day of fall, y'all, I put a, fit, a look together. I'm gonna put it right here for y'all. Yeah. Like I will start to see first day of fall. Oh, the the necklaces I believe are also $6.99. This Telfar bag was $2.16. I got off the website, so retail price. So that is it for the Telfar. Now that we already got into accessories and bags, I want to go ahead and get into shoes because I got two new pair of shoes to show y'all for now. Like I said, this is not my full fall haul. This is just like the beginning of fall, what I'm going to be wearing in the transition into fall and just like the new clothes that I've gotten. So the first pair of shoes, they are some dunk. Well, they're both of the shoes are dunks because y'all know I'm a dunk head. I'm not going to lie. So the first pair that I got are the dunk panda lows. So these are the Dunk Pandas. I got these. I already know this is like the go-to basic Dunk. Everybody should have a pair of these in their closet, I feel like, because these shoes go with everything. I got these for retail price at $70. These are in a kid's seven youth. So I got these for retail price at $70. I was working at Finish Line for a little bit and I was able to get some deals on these two pair of shoes that I'm about to show y'all. But yeah, I got the Dunk Low Pandas. So these shoes I'm obsessed with. I'm gonna be wearing them all fall. Like, even though it's not like fall colors, I've only worn them once because I'm scared to get them dirty. Like, I'm scared that I'm gonna ruin these shoes because I'm gonna be mad. Like, these are my babies. $70 retail price with a discount as well. Oh, yeah, I had a discount as well. So it was $70 after my discount on top of it already being on retail, which is why they're $70. So I got this from Finish Line. So same for these shoes. I got them at retail price. This is a women's size. Nine. Honestly, I don't know what the name of these shoes are, but they are just the olive green and white dunk low. I am obsessed with these shoes, y'all. Like, first off, they're the perfect fall color. Like, these are the perfect fall shoe, y'all. Like, I love these freaking shoes. Like, 
They're so freaking cute. This is, these are a woman shoe that released. I've worn these as well. <laughs> I wore them with that same look. Y'all saw them already when I wore the Tefla. These are the shoes that I wore. So they're just the olive green dunks. I'm so obsessed with these shoes. I've worn these more than the other ones. They're just the olive green dunk lows. I paid $114 for these. So I did pay retail price without my discount. So this is just plain retail price. I paid $112 for them or $114 for them. So yes. That are these. You can just type in olive green and white dunks on Google and I'm sure they'll pop up. So, and then there's actually one more shoe that I do want to include in this. I've had these shoes for a while, but I haven't been able to show my channel or show y'all them. So I want to show y'all. I got the Converse and Rick Owen collab, the dark shadow shoes. These are the, just the black and white ones, the high tops. So they come in low and high. I decided to get the high tops. I'm obsessed with these. These shoes are so cute, y'all. I've worn these quite a bit. And I actually took a picture of them on Instagram. I'll put it right here. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram to see when your girl be dropping them lips because your girl be putting that shit on. Yeah. No, I got these off the of Essence. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but if I remember, I'll put them on the screen below as well for y'all. Like I said, I don't want to get too in detail about anything because I like to do individual like reviews on certain things and these are going to be one of them. So I'm just going to show y'all for now. Y'all want to end up like review like an in-depth review on any specific like item like is it worth it is it worth the money then let me know down below which, I, which item and i will do that i just want to kind of keep it going because we got quite a bit of clothes and now we're getting into my favorite part which is the clothes so i want to do bottoms first because i don't have that many bottoms and i have more tops but we're almost done like i'm keep i'm trying to I'm trying to give y'all like i'm not trying to take too much of y'all time so now let's get to the bottoms period so First things first, I got two cargo mini skirts. Y'all know the whole little trend that's been going on with the cargo mini skirts. That y'all know. The girls that get it, get it. I've been obsessed with them. I know that's the trend that's been going on with the mini skirts. I'm literally obsessed with them. I'm sorry. I'm not a trend girl, but when the trends are actually something that I would wear, regardless if it's trendy or not, I'm gonna hop on the bandwagon. Call it what you want. I got these two cargo skirts, mini skirts, y'all. So the first one I got is this khaki one these khaki this khaki cargo skirt it's so freaking cute like y'all i love this skirt it comes with like this little buckle in the belt i love this belt it gives it a very like 2000s 90s vibe like y'all remember when everybody used to wear the big old belts with all the loops like that's what it's giving and these skirts are really really little like they barely hurt like they just made it to cover my butt so i can't actually wear them out like they're actually functional they're so cute and it's just these little cargo skirts and i, I got this one forever 21 and they it was 20 dollars, y'all really cute so excited about that and then i got the same skirt same cargo skirt but in black and i've actually worn this one and i'll insert a picture on how i styled and everything like that like i said follow me on instagram for your looks because you know you girl be wearing the looks black cargo skirt literally it's so cute they have i'm gonna show y'all because it's probably easier to see on the brown but they literally have like pockets and they're real pockets y'all like they're real pockets i'm obsessed with these i'm gonna be wearing these off all like i feel like a good mini cargo skirt with like some tall boots or some like ricks or something like that's just a fall look like it's giving i'm obsessed with that the black also comes with the same belt um with the silver embroidery i mean silver like details and um yeah this is the black same thing one pocket they're the exact same skirt literally just two different colors so yeah <sighs> now on to more bottoms so I got two more bottoms for y'all to show y'all. They are both the same, again, but two different colors. I have a problem with buying one item in different colors because I always feel like if I fall in love with the item, I have to have it in every color. Like, that makes sense, right? I think that makes sense. Like, if it doesn't make sense, it makes sense to me. But I got these cargos. Um, these are actually men cargos. I got them from H&M. And they were, I believe, $40. But the reason that I love these is because, okay, they're the regular fit, so they're the straight leg pants. They stretch, and they have an elastic band, y'all. The elastic band is literally inside. I'm going to try to show y'all. The elastic band is inside the pants. So this is the outside. This is how you like, this where, you know, you snap the button on the pants like this. So you see? But the elastic string is on the inside. So literally... With these pants, I can like make them super like fitted around my waist, which I love because they were man cargos and I was a little worried. But once I saw they had the elastic band, I'm like, oh, I'll be good. So I got them in a size small. So they have one, they have real pockets, of course, because y'all know men always get the real pockets. They always want to, for women, they always want to give those fake ass pockets. But so he has like one, two, three, four, four pockets on them. And at the bottom, they do have the little like elastic, like 
scrunchy thing where if I wanted to like tighten them, but I like straight cargo pants, so I'm gonna keep them straight because I love straight cargo pants. I'm so excited about these cargos, y'all, because literally like I've been needing a good pair of cargos and I literally went thrifting. I did a whole haul, I did a whole video for y'all. I mean going thrifting. I did a whole vlog on like my thrifting and y'all I get to the register and they didn't take my type of credit card that I had. I could have used my money, but I wanted to use a credit card because I'm trying to use it to pay it right back off to help my credit and also to get points on my credit card. So I was really annoyed with that. Then I literally the next day I went shopping and I got these cargos. So these are literally perfect. They are men, so I love how they kind of fit a little baggy, but because of the elastic band, like they fit around my waist perfect. And then I got the same cargos. I told y'all I have a problem. I got the same cargos in brown. So I got the brown pair. They also had a gray pair, which I'm gonna go back and get those because I literally am obsessed with cargos, especially for the fall. I feel like cargos are such a go-to bottom. Like they go with anything. You can literally wear, like, wear them so many different ways. I love cargos. I think they're very edgy. I think they're very streetwear. They're very much my style now. And these are like a chocolate brown cargo. Same thing. They have the two pockets. Y'all can see them a little better now. They have the two pockets on the side. And then same thing, it has the elastic band on the inside. Okay, y'all, so we're literally almost done with the haul. I did bottom, so I wanna go ahead and get into tops, um, which is like the bigger portion of everything. So we're gonna get into tops next, so. Okay, now like the biggest part of this haul, which are the tops, all my tops. First things first, I got this graphic, like, I don't even know, y'all. It's, it's such a weird shirt, but it's like this gray graphic like shirt. It says the eye of the beholder. That's what we're like in this like painted, rustic, vintage print. I love it. It's a crop top, has a little mock neck, it's long sleeve. It feels really, really warm. I got this from H&M as well. This was $12.99. I got it in size extra small. And this is really cute. Like I think this with like some cargos or this with like a mini skirt, like anything. Like I have a look in mind. I don't want to say it yet because I may do a video. So yeah. Next, I don't know if this is really fall, but I just wanted to put it in because I've had this. I've never worn it, so I'm gonna wear it for the fall. This was actually gifted to me. So I can't tell y'all where this is where it's from, but it's just a plain white corset top. And I like how it has like the little cups for my boobs, even though your girl really don't have no boobs. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like, as y'all can tell, I don't have no boobs, but I feel like this would make me look like I got something. It's like an actual corset too. So it's corset in the front. The back is really loose and flowy. I feel like this would be a great like brunch fit for the fall or a cute like dinner fit for fall. I'll probably honestly wear this to my best friend's birthday because her birthday's coming up and it's in the fall. Next, I have this faux honey shirt. I've been wanting a faux honey shirt for so freaking long, y'all, and I finally got my hands on one. I got this one from, I believe, Paxson. I don't remember how much it is, but if I remember to put it on the screen for y'all, I'll put it on the screen for y'all. Faux honey is YG's brand, if I'm not mistaken. And it just says faux honey on the front, but then on the back it says, good sex, no stress, one boo, no ex, small circle, big checks, faux honey. So I absolutely love this shirt. I've already worn it. As y'all can probably tell, it's a little dirty and this will wash it again. I just literally got out the hamper just so I can show y'all it like for real. It's a little oversized. I got it in a size small. No, I got, I got it in size medium. I got it in size medium because I wanted it to fit a little bigger. I've been feeling more baggier clothes, even though I like to show skin. I like to show my shape. I don't know, your girl's kind of been, I've been kind of all the place. Like one day I want to be a girly girl and I want to have my stomach out, my legs out. And I, I want y'all to see my shape. But other days I want to dress like I'm my brother and I want to have big pants on, big shirt with my sneakers and a hat. Like, let's talk about it. Next, I got these two shirts that I was actually gifted from a brand that I absolutely love. So shout out to you. Um, this brand is called Filthy, Filthy Temple. I received clothing from them before, but they sent me these two shirts. So shout out to him. Shout out to the owner of Filthy Temple. He he like, I met him one time on, on a whim out with my friends. And ever since, like he always hits me up to try to work with me and always hit me up about his like new designs and stuff like that. So shout out to him because he has a dope ass brand. Y'all definitely need to follow. I think right now his website isn't up, but still follow them on Instagram. I'll put it right on the screen. It's Filthy Temple. Make sure y'all follow them. They have dope ass clothing, y'all. Like I'm obsessed. But he got me this crew neck long shirt, which is um it just says their logo, which is Filthy Temple. So it's an F and a T, F T for Filthy Temple. And then the back it has like, I believe this is like a rhino. I don't even know y'all, this design is so fucking dope. Like I love this design, y'all. It's so clean. Like I'm a sucker for all white designs. Like I don't know, they're just so clean to me. It looks so clean and like classic. And this, like I'm gonna be wearing these these sweatshirts like off all because I love long sleeves and I love 
anybody who knows me knows I'm a stickler for the back of the shirt. Like, I hate when people only put a design on the front of the shirt or only put a design on the back of the shirt. Like, I like for the front and the back to have some. I love this brand for that because they always have something on the front and the back. And it just be like dope ass design. So, this one just says filthy. I got it in a size small. Like I said, I can't tell y'all how much it was because um, it was sent to me. But make sure y'all check them out. And then the second one, same thing, has the same logo, FT for Filthy Temple. And then in the back, it has this cool as It says Triumph. And it has like a cross and like Arabic lettering as well. I hope I'm saying that right. It's the um, yin yang. Like this design is so dope. Do y'all see this? Let me like let y'all see. This is what I be saying. Like it's like, yeah, you see the front and the, the like the Filthy Temple logo looks raw. Like seeing that, it just looks good on a shirt, period. If y'all don't shop this brand, y'all have a problem. Make sure y'all shop this brand. Stop playing. Like make sure y'all shop filthy temple like they're so fucking dope and tell them i sent you tell them i sent you all right so next i have this yellow just plain yellow sweatshirt hoodie hoodie sweatshirt whatever hooded sweatshirt really light yellow sweatshirt it is a crop hoodie i absolutely love this i have some dunk highs that literally match with this perfectly so i already have like a, a idea in my head on how i'm gonna wear this i mean this hoodie i'm obsessed with it's just a plain hoodie i want to start getting like more plain hoodies and put plain zip ups because i feel like they go with a lot of stuff and it was on sale so it was 12 dollars. so i got this in forever 21 for 12 dollars. So, so definitely make sure y'all hit them up next up i got this denim um oversized denim jacket also from forever 21 i believe it was 20 dollars. i don't have the tag on it anymore because i wore it but forever 21 i got in a size large because i wanted it to really fit like big on me i have not had like a dark wash denim jacket like this in a long time i have my light one and my cropped one this one with it being like a full denim i'm obsessed with it i love it like it's amazing it has a little like scrunch at the bottom to give it like that snatch look at the bottom so yeah got that and then let's just hurry and get into these graphics so the next graphic tee that i got this was from root no charlotte roots y'all i i went to charlotte roots like on a whim and i actually ended up finding these two shirts so got this shirt from charlotte roots i believe it was nine dollars it's just a leah shirt with like acid wash a couple pictures of her and it says princess of r&b i love this shirt um i'm really like into like the whole like acid washed look of it i think it looks really cute and then it's a leah like real also got this in a size large as well to make it fit big so a large Aaliyah shirt and also from Charlotte Roos the same day I got this Tupac shirt it's a poetic justice Tupac shirt I got it in a size small it just says lucky and it's picture of Tupac don't he look so cute y'all once again like the acid like bleached look to it which I'm obsessed with and it just says poetic justice at the bottom so got this from Charlotte Roos as well this was also $12.99. And then lastly, the last shirt that I got, y'all, it is from Paxson. It was $31. It's a size small. And I don't know what this brand is called, but y'all look at this shirt. Isn't this shirt so cool? Like it has like a rose with fire. Like I've been into like this like scattered look on my clothes. And then look at the bag. It says I need space. It's just like all these like random photos, but they all go together. Like this was a men's t-shirt, by the way. So yeah, super cool, super dope honestly in love with this top okay y'all and that will be the end of this collective fall haul i hope y'all really enjoy it i'm sorry if it was like super quick but i was just trying to make sure i got to the point showed y'all the products and let y'all know what everything looks like so yeah i got all of these clothes i'm so excited thank y'all so much for 450 subscribers or 460 450 subscribers i'm so so grateful y'all i just want to say thank y'all so much and if y'all want to see more fashion content i'm definitely coming with the fashion content back to back to back leave your girl a like a heart anything let me know that you're feeling me okay period i love y'all so 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 much and i will see y'all in my next video bye guys Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different